I believe that the key to a successful marriage is when each partner commits to serve the needs of the other. That relationship is a long-term, mutually fulfilling, deep and abiding love. My charge to you is to take into this relationship the heart of a servant. We love you guys so much. We are so thrilled for you. And we are here for you for the rest of your lives. We love you. I remember talking to Christine around three years ago and hearing Christine talk about this Jacob guy. They had only recently met at the time, and I remember her sharing about their first date and how they went to a coffee shop and talked for hours and hours and hours. The more she shared about the time that she had with Jacob and the things that he said, I could tell Jacob from that moment that you were a man of kindness and of gentleness, a man who valued Christine's thoughts and respected her, and that she could be fully herself with you, which is super, super important. I, Jacob, take you, Christine, to be my wedded wife. I vow before God and these witnesses to honor and respect you as your loving husband. I, Christine, take you, Jacob, to be my wedded husband. I vow before God and these witnesses my devotion, my unconditional love, and myself. I promise to respect you, honor you, and to encourage you. I promise to love you unconditionally as Christ first loved us and to care for you in sickness and in health. I vow to be your protector and your provider and to be a place of peace in times of plenty or in want. I will fight for you, pray for you, and care for you in sickness and in health. I vow to trust you and treasure you as my wife and my best friend. And by God's grace, this is my covenant to you. By God's grace, this is my covenant to you. And by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and by the living God, I pronounce you husband and wife. Jacob, you may kiss your bride. They say you don't marry the person you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. And that fits the two of you perfectly. Here's to Jake and Christine, the new Mr. and Mrs. Webb.